The Cardboard Reading Chair Project allowed my students and Ms. Selzer's students an opportunity to work collaboratively on a transformative problem-based learning activity. The students involved ascertained the big ideas of transformative learning and the eight essential elements of problem-based learning comfortably and easily within the confines of the state of Virginia's standards of learning, task and competencies, our curriculum, and our learning objectives. Ms. Seltzer and I helped students develop STEM knowledge and 21st century skills. This video shows how successful this learning model can be. Our students were fully engaged throughout this project and took a great deal of ownership in its design and its completion. Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Jolie. We are from Mr. Seltzer's advanced drawing class at Grafton High School in York County. We worked on a transformative learning project, building a cardboard reading chair for Mrs. Seltzer's first grade class at the Cosin Primary School. Without the students knowing they were having a cardboard reading chair built for them, Mrs. Seltzer asked her first grade class to use descriptive words to write their ideas describing the perfect reading chair. The students created an idea cloud with those words. The students came up with some pretty great ideas for us. They wanted some pretty interesting things like a bacon chair, a flower chair, a princess chair, and even a dinosaur chair. Mrs. Seltzer's students then drew descriptive pictures of their design ideas and created graphic organizers describing their ideas for the perfect reading chair. Using a video, we introduced ourselves to Mrs. Seltzer's class and told them we were building them a cardboard chair. They were very excited. The introductory video contained a couple of computer-aided drawings and pictures of previously created cardboard chairs. Mrs. Seltzer's students then created their own computer drawings from their sketches and descriptive words. Kristen and I went through an engineering design process to design, build, and review the chair. The steps in the design process include research, problem identification, ideation and sketches, analysis, decision, model and simulation, and review. We used the students' ideas to research concepts for our chair design such as ergonomics for children, stability, and proper reading comfort. We also identified the key words the students were using, the most, like dinosaur, the color green, and fuzzy. We identified particular issues with our design problems, such as size, tools, and material constraints. We analyzed and created several sketch ideas. The sketches were created using the students' ideas from their idea cloud, their hand and computer sketches, their graphic organizers, and our ideas from our research and problem identification. Ultimately, we decided on the dinosaur chair. We thought it was the best idea to incorporate the students' ideas and the results of our research. We also liked the triangular shape because it allows the students to sit crisscross. Using Autodesk Inventor in our research dimensions, we turned our sketches into a 3D and working drawing set. To help us determine the shape of the chair, the feasibility of building the chair, and the chair's structural integrity, we built a cardboard scale model. Once we determined that the prototype was fine and made adjustments to our drawing, we plotted a one-to-one -one scale pattern. We used the pattern to cut our cardboard into a rough shape, laminate the pieces together, and then cut the final pieces to size. During the building process, we sent another video to Mrs. Seltzer's students to let them know we were creating their chair. This video included our prototype and several pictures of us building the chair. The students were very excited about their chair, and Mrs. Seltzer had them write us letters. They were very curious about how we were making the chair, and they gave us more of their ideas. We couldn't believe how much their writing had improved since the beginning of the year.
We incorporated the help of Tori and Helen of the art department for decorating our chair. The four of us came up with using green felt for the sides of the chair. Many of the students wanted a soft, fuzzy chair, and this allowed us to do that. Felt sticks to felt, so this gave Helen the ability to create felt decorations that the students could use to customize the chair. That way, they could make the chair into the perfect reading chair that they requested. In review, I think we created a chair for Mrs. Seltzer's students that fit their idea for the perfect reading chair and Mr. Seltzer's design requirements for developing a cardboard chair. Boom goes the dynamite. Mrs. Seltzer's class read the book, A Throne for the King, and made text to solve connections about the King's Chair request and our chair project. Mrs. Seltzer told her class that the dinosaur chair was going to have a surprise when it arrived. The class were predictions about what we thought the surprise was going to be. Mrs. Seltzer's class wrote informational reports about dinosaurs. We followed the writing process to choose a topic, create a topic sentence, gather facts from nonfiction books, and write reports. Ms. Seltzer students were extremely excited to receive the cardboard reading chair that they helped design. Kristen and Jolie answered the students' questions about the chair. Each individual student loves to decorate the chair in their own style before they sit in it. They've taken it upon themselves to clean off their decorations before the next student sits in it to read. They really have taken ownership in the chair they helped design. They are enjoying sitting crisscross and reading in the perfect reading chair.